Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a 3 by 2 calculation totally in your head. Now what I'm going to do is basically show you the steps that it takes to break a number down so you don't have to worry about losing your pace and you can just break a number down very easily, very quickly. What I'm going to do is start with this very easy number, numbers that are relatively small, and then if you continue to practice you can add anything you want to this particular technique. Okay. So what we're going to do right now, we're going to do 246 times 21. That's going to be the number we're going to be dealing with. But the way we break the number down is going to be special. We're going to break the number down in such a way that the number is going to be a 2, 2, a 4, a 1, and a 6. So what I've done is, let's say for example you were to write this down. You had 246 times 21. Most times people do, they slide the 21 over to the right, leaving a space there. I'm going to leave the numbers right below so you can actually see that you have a 2, 2, a 4, 1, and a 6. Okay, So that's going to be the number you want to just break down mentally. And you can actually see that because the average human being can only hold about 7 numbers in memory. I'm only going to give you 5 and you can lock those in, you can see those, and as you continue to practice, they'll become clearer and clearer. Okay? So, in your mind, I want you to see a 22, a 41, and a 6 lay out in front of you. Now, what you want to do, you want to start to manipulate these numbers in a way that you can start to get your calculation done. First thing you want to do is note that 2 times 2 is 4. Okay? So, 4, you should be able to say it, couple times so you don't lose it and place it in memory a little bit higher than those numbers you have in that row. It's going to be a 4. Then you're going to take the numbers on the outside, leaving the 6 alone for now. You're going to take numbers on the outside, the 2 and the 1, which is 2, and then the 2 and the 4 is 8. So 8 and 2 is 10. Okay. So instead of saying 10, you say 1, 0. Now you take the 1 add to the 4, it becomes a 5, and you have a 0 left over. So now you have 50. So you place the 4 with the, the, with the number 50, and that's above the numbers which are still there in front of you, because we're not done with those numbers. And then you bring in the 6. You take the 6 to the second 2, and you say 12. 6 times 2 is 12. And then the 4 and 1 become 4, because 4 times 1 is 4. So 12 and 4 is 16. Okay. So because there's a, there's a 0 there of the 50, you just simply take the 16 and cover the 0. So now you have 5, 1, 6. And that number is the number in your head that's above the other numbers. Okay? And then the last part, you simply take the 6 to the 1. And 6 times 1 is 6. And you stick it mentally next to the, your 5, 1, 6. So now you have 5, 1, 6, 6. And you can write that down. Or you can simply say 5, 1, 6, 6. See how that works? Okay, let's do it again. Make sure you understand the technique. I'm not going to give you a whole lot of examples to work with. I'm trying to teach you a concept, so I'm going to use one example. Okay, again, you're starting off with your number, and you know what it is, and you see it, or you think it, and the number is going to be broken down. Okay, so first thing it was, it was um, 246 times 21, and you broke it down, so you have a 2, 2, 4, 1, 6. You take 2 times 2 is 4. You say 4, 3 times 4, 4, 4. Hold it above the number. And then you start from the, the uh, arch of 2 to the 1 is 2. And 2 to the 4 is 8. So that's going to be 2 and 8 is 10, which is 1, 0. Add the 1 to the 4. It becomes 5. Add back to 0. It's 50. That's the number in your head. And then you... Go to the 6, to the second 2, 6 times 2 is 12, and 4 times 1 is 4, so 12 and 4 is 16. You add the whole 16 over the 0, it's going to be 5, 1, 6. The last part is going to be 6 times 1, 6 to the 1 is 6, so your answer is going to be 5, 1, 6, 6. That's incredible, it's easy to do, and most people most people on earth are not able to do three by two calculations in their head. But I've shown you how you break it down 
in mechanical fashion and you're able to do it. Now when you practice this here, you can actually, you know, just basically, you know, disregard whatever the number is in its natural form. What I mean, what I mean by saying that is this here. You can simply say, okay, well, I'm going to do is practice uh, 75618 and then just break numbers down see what comes out to you. You don't have to realize what the original number was because you're just going to practice, okay? So let's just think about that and think of the possibilities. If you practice this particular, this particular technique for, let's say, just a week, a couple of days, okay, a couple of hours, you'll be able to really see numbers in your head. You'll be able to manipulate numbers as they're in front of you, like on a board, and really get the answer that you need, okay? So this is a great technique, and I want you to please practice this. Comment on this. Let me know that this is something that you feel is useful because I know I use it all the time. It's a great technique. And as you continue to learn from me, I'm going to give you more and more challenging things to do with the 2 by 2s and the 3 by 2s and even 3 by 3s and 4 by 4s Whatever I feel is necessary for you to become a stronger mental mathematician, then I'm going to give it to you. So until then, continue to watch. Thank you and have a great day.